Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closets, where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, so in today's video, in today's video, it is going to be a fun one, an exciting one, because I did a little bit of a blind bot. I blind bought these perfumes and I can't wait to open them and smell them because I have them, I've been having them for the past week or so. So, I have them right here, we're gonna open them up and we're gonna see what they smell like. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. So I did purchase four perfumes and I purchased three of them from Fragrance Nets. And the other one I did purchase from Burlington. And the one that I purchased from Burlington is called Guess Seductive Flirt. And this one retail for $20. From Fragrance Net, I bought Police To Be Born To Shine, Police To Be Camouflage. And then I bought a, a tester perfume because it was really, really cheap and really affordable. I don't remember what the name of this one is, but it's, I don't know. I think it's called Good Vibes. I'm not sure, but I think it's called Good Vibes. So before we get to those, I am going to open up the first one, which is Guess. I'm going to go with this one first. I have been going to Burlington, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx recently to see if they had any new perfumes. And unfortunately, they haven't had any new or interesting which is kind of weird because the holidays are literally right around the corner and i know they're gonna start coming out with their gift sets and stuff like that but i did see this one i did look at the notes and i was really intrigued because this is described as like a woody vanilla perfume so let me open it up and let me get to the scents all right so here we have the bottle i do like the bottle i do have two of these perfumes i have the original one and then i have the red one that's supposed to be like a cherry perfume i'm not the biggest fan of gas perfumes because they don't really last but like i said the notes did intrigue me for this perfume all right so i'm gonna read the notes for this one really quick so this one has top notes of pear bergamot and black currants the middle notes are orris roots jasmine and african orange flower all right well the base notes are cashmere wood vanilla and olibanum olibanum i always get confused with that word but yeah so very interesting notes some notes in here that i don't really care for when it comes down to perfumes i don't know but this one i like i said it's described as a woody ambery vanilla perfume and since it is november we are getting into that holiday spirit so all right you guys moment of truth let's see how this one smells like i like how the way that it sprays it sprays really nice all right so whoa i got the first hints let's see what this really smells like wow all right so this perfume it's not bad i gotta say first sniff it's not bad, but this one reminds me of one of the KKW perfumes. One of the the one that looks like it comes in an egg. I can't remember what it's called, but it kind of smells like one of those. Yeah, you guys, I don't know. Okay, so I, I'm kind of liking this perfume, but it's, I don't know. It's not woodsy. Like, I thought it was going to be like a dark woodsy type of perfume, but I'm getting a lot of... um orange juice it kind of smells like orange juice it kind of smells like a bitter orange like when you're peeling an orange it's very sweet it's very tropical it's very fruity which is it's weird don't get me wrong i do like it i think i like this one better than the original one but this one so the the pear does stick out a lot like a very juicy pear that's what i'm getting a lot the bergamot and the black currants I don't know you guys it's a very juicy sweet perfume it kind of smells like like a jolly rancher like when you're eating jolly ranchers and the jolly ranchers melt into your mouth and you can taste that juiciness of a jolly rancher maybe like the green apple one yeah that's what i'm getting out of this perfume but it's i don't know i feel like i've smelled this perfume and like i said it kind of does remind me of one of the kkw perfumes i can't think of the name but once i do i'll post it up here in the screen but it's an it's a nice sweet juicy very very juicy perfume i don't i don't dislike it it's not like whoa the greatest thing ever but it is a nice scent i gotta say for 20 dollars, it's not 
it's not bad this is almost like a everyday type of wear type of perfume maybe like a daytime type of perfume this is definitely not sexy not flurry i mean it says flirt but i don't i don't i don't know I don't know it's a very pretty girly perfume it kind of reminds me of pink sugar as well it's kind of like that sweet sugary very candy ish juicy i can smell the pear i i can smell the bergamot the black currants but overall it smells like uh like a bitter orange i like it not bad so yeah this is called guest seductive flirt and you can find this at burlington for 19.99 all right, you guys, moving on to the next one. So the next one, it is from the brand Police To Be. And this one is called Good Vibes For Her. I'm going to open this one really quick because I don't really remember how this one looks. So let me open this one up and see what it looks like. Wow, you guys, I got to say, <laughs> this is by far one of the most beautiful bottles I have ever seen with the color. I really like the pink color. I really like the the bright yellow pea on top this is just really really beautiful and i do have three perfumes from uh this brand in the shape of the skull which i absolutely absolutely love this this is just so freaking cute so i bought this one because this is described as a vanilla aquatic type of perfume and i'm all for that all right so i'm gonna read the notes really quick so this one has top notes of water notes sweet orange grape fruit and black pepper the middle notes are pear helotrope and peony and the base notes are vanilla whoa this is a big word amber rome and patchouli i don't know what amber rome is but i'm guessing it's like like some type of amber perfume i don't know like uh not perfume but a scent like some type of ambery scent i don't know you guys but a moment of truth let's see what this smells like i am excited for this one as well and this one retailed for i think nine dollars you guys that's why i bought it because it was a tester so it's not used but it's one of those perfumes that they ship out to like macy's for them to put as a tester that's why it was cheap and affordable so let me spray this one right here and see what it smells like okay whoa all right let's let's find out okay whoa all right, so the first thing that I'm getting, it's, <laughs> wow. All right, so this is, an again, another sweet, ambery perfume. It does smell a little bit watery, like like a pool, but wow. Okay, you guys, this <laughs> this is really, really strong, but this is, it smells like a, like a strong vanilla, like brown sugar. That's what it reminds me of a lot. Brown sugar, the pool, amber vanilla it's very 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 sweet like that but i really really am liking that yeah this is definitely a winter type of perfume you guys this is really really sweet but one thing that i can say is it doesn't smell cheap a lot of the police to be perfumes kind of do smell synthetic not that i have smelled all of them but a few of them do smell a little synthetic for my taste but this one this one smells really really rich it's really really sweet wow you guys wow 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 the more it sets on my skin the more i'm liking it it's definitely a strong sweet ambery perfume but i can smell sugar brown sugar vanilla amber it's kind of dark but it's not nasty yeah this is definitely a sweet perfume so if you are into sweet perfumes like really sweet perfumes ambery perfumes vanilla perfumes sugary perfumes you are going to like this one i would highly recommend you guys getting this one because wow it kind of reminds me of the ysl libre intense version it's really kind of like dark like that but very 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 sweet not that i'm saying it's a dupe for that one but it kind of resembles that same dna or like kind of like that wow you guys i have to say the more i'm smelling it the more that i'm really really liking this perfume it's definitely really really nice and sweet so i mean there's really not much more to say about this perfume except that it's really really sweet but it's not overpowering it's not giving me a headache it's not too too sweet i mean i love sweet perfumes so like 
this is like i'm not complaining about how sweet it is but it's definitely a very sugary perfume it's brown sugar it kind of reminds me of like a toasted marshmallow like when you're burning a marshmallow you can smell that strong sweetness of that marshmallow that's what it smells like especially when you're like tasting that burnt marshmallow wow it's really really nice it's creamy it's sweet it's ambery but it's really 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 good i really am loving this dry down because it's a beautiful beautiful perfume i have to say i'm really liking this perfume quite a lot and this is again from the brand police to be good vibes for her all right you guys moving right along to the next one so the next one again it is from police to be and this one's called camouflage pink and i believe this is a limited edition perfume this is the 2.5 fluid ounce and this one again is described as a woody vanilla perfume i don't remember how much i paid for this but i think it was like 20 to 25 dollars which is not bad at all so let me open this one up and see what it looks like wow you guys look at how beautiful this bottle is I have to say these bottles are really really freaking cute like if there's anything I like about this brand besides the scents are the bottles this is just beautiful I really really like this bottle as well like the design is just beautiful all right so this one has it looks like it has a lot of notes right so the top notes for this one are mango mandarin orange green apple grapefruit and bergamot the middle notes are Orange Blossom, C. Clement, Jasmine, and Rose. And the base notes are Vanilla, Hazelnut, Milk, Helitrope, Tonka Bean, Patchouli, and Cedar. So, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a really nice, sweet, yet fruity perfume. So, whew, moment of truth, you guys. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely excited to see what this one smells like. So, let me spray this right here. And let's see what it smells like. Man, I really, <laughs> I'm really liking this bottle. This bottle is so cute. Hopefully, I like it. But even if I don't like it, I'll probably just keep it for the bottle. All right, here we go. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I was like, I was about to say I like this, but then something kick in that I don't like. Okay, so it's been about 20 seconds and I have to say, I think I'm liking it a little bit better than the first spray because the first spray, it was a very strong, lemony, yet mango-y type of scent. So like the mango kicked in and it was good, but once I started, my nose started picking up that lemon scent, I was like, nope. <laughs> but now, okay now i'm kind of liking it a little bit better i have to say you guys this perfume reminds me a lot of key lime pie if you've ever had a key lime pie and you like key lime pie that's what this smells like a lot it's very creamy it's very lemony but it's tropical as well it's not as sweet as i thought it was going to be but it's a really nice lemony type of scent. I would assume this is more like a summertime type of perfume. Yeah, I don't know. I really am liking this. I, I, I can smell a lot of the mango, the bergamot, the mandarin orange, the green apple, and the grapefruit, right? Yeah, so that's what it smells like. A lot like a like squeezed grapefruits. I mean, it has vanilla, hazelnuts, milk, and tonka bean. I don't smell any of those notes on this perfume i do smell the cedar i do smell the patchouli i do smell the orange blossom and i do smell the jasmine everything else i don't smell <laughs> besides the mango mandarin orange green apple grapefruit and bergamot so yeah you guys it's a okay so it is a really nice scent i really do like it it smells very creamy very mango-y but you can really smell the bergamot you can smell the grapefruit the grapefruit it's what stands out a lot it's really bitter very lemony but it's nice it doesn't remind me of a uh, lysol like when you spray that yellowy lime lysol it doesn't remind me of that which is a good thing because perfumes that have a lot of bergamot or a lot of like lemon in it it kind of automatically reminds me of the Lysol to clean your wood. 
but because this one does have grapefruit it's a little bit more on the sweet side but also very fruity creamy and lemony i like it and like i said the initial spray i was not a fan of but afterwards I like it. I have to say, this is another great perfume from Police to Be. I'm really, really feeling this one as well. I like how it's not just like lemony, it's creamy, it's a bit sweet, it's a bit mango-y. But, I don't know you guys. Yeah, this is definitely a nice summertime type per perfume and I am liking it as well so if you are into perfumes like that if you are into fruity sweet lemony type of perfumes a bit creamy then i might check this one out because it is good and it doesn't smell cheap either and again this is from the brand police to be and this one's called camouflage pink all right you guys i'm moving on to the last one so the last one that i have here is again from the brand police to be and this one's called born to shine and this one is also described as a woodsy vanilla type perfume so let's open it up and let's get to the scents all right so here we have the bottle so the bottle is really really plain and simple it is a white skull it's kind of a little bit like like a pearly type of uh white which i really like and i really like the gold around it it kind of reminds me of the other bottle that i do have which is called queen it's a bit similar to that one all right so let's get to the notes for this one we have top notes of apple blossom italian mandarin bergamot and cinnamon the middle notes are jasmine coffee plum and damask rose and the base notes are vanilla patchouli cashmere wood and sandalwood whoa so this one has cinnamon coffee and sandalwood so anytime i hear notes like that i'm getting something <laughs> dark and woodsy i don't know you guys i i'm excited all right so let me spray this one on this arm and see what it smells like so far i've liked every single perfume that i picked up to be quite honest i'm surprised because that really never really happens but hmm let's see what this one smells like okay wow i feel like i didn't spray anything <laughs> so i'm gonna spray some more because literally i feel like i didn't smell anything and i'm gonna let it dry down just a little bit more all right so now that it's dried down a little bit more on my skin let's see what this really smells like okay i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why but i really can't smell it wow I have to be honest, this perfume, it's very, 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 very toned down. It's very, like, non-existent. Like, I feel like I have to put my nose, like, really, like, into, <laughs> into my hand to be able to smell it. But, okay, what I can smell is milk and coffee. It smells like milk and coffee mixed together. It's not too coffee-ish. Like, this doesn't smell like straight-up coffee or coffee beans. But I can smell something creamy like milk and coffee. Okay, so, so far from what I can smell, I am liking it. But I just feel like it's not strong enough. I feel like this is a skin sense. Which I'm not a big fan of because I want people to smell me so I can get compliments. But what I can smell from this perfume, I'm really liking it. Because it is very smooth. It's creamy. I can smell the vanilla. I can smell the coffee. But I don't know, so far what I can smell, what my nose does pick up on my wrist, it's really, really nice and pretty. Again, it's creamy. The coffee notes on here is nice. It's very, very balanced. I don't like coffee perfumes that smell like straight up coffee or coffee beans. It has to have something nice blended in it. And I feel like this perfume, it has something nice blended in this perfume that the coffee does come off as coffee but there's something in here that takes it away from just being a coffee type of perfume which i like so i do smell a little bit of the cinnamon but it's not too like crazy like you have to really concentrate on the scent 
to pick up that cinnamon notes what i can smell a lot is the coffee the vanilla the patchouli and the mandarin which it does smell like a bitter orange a bitter mandarin the bergamot again it's very 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 soft but it's there i don't know you guys i like it <laughs> even though it is a very skin like type of scent i like it because I can smell the coffee and I can smell the vanilla and I can smell the, the Italian mandarin, the cinnamon and the sandalwood. Cashmere wood. So cashmere wood, when I think about cashmere wood on perfumes, I think about something cozy, something soft. And yes, I am getting that out of this perfume. I do smell something coziness out of this perfume. I would say this is like a winter type of perfume. So far, I like it, you guys. I don't know i really am liking this perfume because it is very nice and sweet it's creamy it's very i don't know coffee ish but it's i don't want to keep saying it's just like coffee because it's not like a really strong coffee or coffee beans or coffee crown but you can distinguish that coffee note just by a tiny bit but it's really really nice it's really nice and well blended with the vanilla with the uh italian mandarin and the bergamot it is a bit woodsy like it does smell like sandwood and it does remind me of that coziness of a cashmere wood i like it it is a bit plain it is a bit of a plain vanilla or a plain scent i feel like this is a safe blind bought for someone that wants to try something a little bit different but not too too different so if you want to try something like if you like vanilla perfumes but you want to try something with like coffee in it give this one a try again it's not a really really strong perfume at least not on my skin but it is a nice vanilla coffee-ish type of perfume it's not too crazy it's not too exaggerated so i am gonna give this one a try today because i want to see how it performs on my skin and on my clothing I want to see if I get compliments or I want to see if it really stands out a lot or maybe it's just my, my skin swallow the whole entire spray but I gotta I have to say it smells beautiful it's a really beautiful vanilla coffee ish bitter mandarin bergamot type of perfume so if you're into that give this one a try give this one a try and again I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this one but it was definitely under $30 which is a really good and affordable price for a perfume like this one and again this is from the brand police to be born to shine and I have to say now I have six of their perfumes and I want to keep trying these perfumes because they are not only affordable but they are actually really really good they do last and I don't know maybe just have the whole entire collection of skulls I think that would be really really freaking awesome to have all of them so yeah you guys I really really like this one i really am enjoying it now but about you guys that is pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content be ready because i have the versace little and purple video coming up i have the paco raban fame video coming up i have the john paul Gaultier scandal le parfum video coming up and i'm so excited so as soon as they get here I'm getting on in front of a camera, filming the video and posting it up for you guys to know the full tea. So stick around, click that subscribe button to be part of my team if you're not yet subscribed to this channel. So if you're into that, stick around and be part of the team. But all right, you guys, as always, thank you for watching and I can't wait till we gossip on the next one. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.